we'll guide you through how to enable virtualization in Windows 11. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So what we need to do is get to our BIOS, which is basically our motherboard settings. To do that, what we can do is go and click on the Windows Start button in the bottom like so, then go over to the Power button and click on it, and now hold the left Shift key on your keyboard and go and click on Restart. Now your computer is going to go and restart into safe mode. And from safe mode, we can then go and get into our BIOS. So just wait for your computer to restart. Your computer will start into safe mode. And then what you want to do is go and click on troubleshoot and then go and click on advanced options. Then click on UEFI firmware settings and click on restart again. And now your computer will restart and the BIOS should automatically open. If that doesn't seem to automatically open the BIOS settings, you can always go and manually do it by following the instructions on the boot page. You should now be in your BIOS, and it is important to know that different motherboard models and brands are going to have different BIOSes. But ultimately, we are all looking for the same setting, and the virtualization setting can have different names. It could be called VT, AMD-V, SVM, or Vanderpool. And also, it could be called like Intel-VT or Intel VTX, there's a few different variables. So you may want to go and search up specifically for your motherboard, but we'll try and do it generally for you. So what you want to do is check your motherboard settings. It may be in there, but it also may be in your overclocking settings. For me, it's in my overclocking settings. And for some motherboards, you may need to go and use your keyboard. For mine, I can use my mouse though, but I'll just use my keyboard to show you guys how it works. So just use your arrow keys, you know, up and down to go up and down and left and right and then use enter to click. So as I said, I need to go into my overclocking settings. And then what we need to do is go into our advanced settings. So this will probably apply for your motherboard settings as well. Go into your advanced or go into your CPU settings. So I'll go into my advanced CPU settings. And then the setting we need is SVM mode. As you can see here it is. And on the right there, it says enable, disable CPU virtualization. So to go and change this setting, all you need to do is hit enter on it and then you can choose between disabled and enabled. So we want enabled, of course, and that's it. So hopefully you've managed to locate it. Another thing to notice as well is that some motherboards have a search function. So you can go to the top right and click on this search button. And then I actually typed it before. You could type in SVM, or of course, because it may be called something different for you, you could type in VT and go and see if it appears. But on my motherboard, it's called SVM mode. I could then go into the list and I can go and enable it from here. So it seems to be able to go through my whole motherboard. So the search function is super useful. Once you've enabled it, you can then close off your settings. Click on the cross in the top right, or there may be a different exit button for you. And for me, I haven't made any changes, but you've probably gone and enabled virtualization or whatever it's called, whether it be SVM or VT. So make sure you click on yes to any changes you've made and your computer will then go and restart back into Windows. And you can sign back into Windows and go and use your computer with virtualization enabled. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.